at Lafka Bramlag. I am from Ethiopia, Gambella Pinido refugee camp. I am working in Bethany Christian Services as MHPSS project officer. We focus on capacitating foster parents, starting from community awareness raising programs to identify foster parents that needs our intervention and deliver continuous trainings like three or four to teach them about trauma-informed parenting skills because children from different area, especially where I'm, where I'm at, the refugees are from South Sudan, they carry a lot of traumatizing experience and painful experiences. So uh, they need a lot of training to, to understand their needs and to uh, provide the, the proper care because we believe this is the durable and sustainable solution for ensuring the well-being of children. The challenges are, I think, similar to all countries because it was sudden and movement restrictions were formed for a few months here and schools were closed, routine activities also were affected. Especially our approach is community-based approach. So we work directly with them. Mm -hmm. So when uh, these restrictions were placed, we, um, we couldn't form that kind of relationship with them anymore for some months. Even for the refugees, uh, because school closed, mothers were overburdened with caring for their children and also going through the routine activities of fetching water, collecting firewood, and these things became really demanding for them. You know, it, it created a lot of stress. I mean, we had to change our op approaches because the usual uh, community-based approach or gatherings were not uh, possible. So, for example, we had group counseling that we changed into individual counseling. So we use this model that is called Problem Management Plus model that was done by WHO for people with mental distress. And also, uh, we changed our community um, awarenesses into home-to-home -home education. Yeah, so sometimes when we are doing assessments, we also get to interview children. So from from what we heard, some of the children were happy that, you know, their mother is giving them more attention or listening to them or because in the sessions that we are carrying out, we encourage parents to have open conversation with their foster children and asking them what's going on in their mind or what they're feeling. So just being open to whatever questions that they have. So it was definitely a positive impact. We used to do this um, differently. Mm -hmm. So now when we find foster parents, most of them are women that come to our uh, programs, trainings. So if they are under distress, we were able to include them in the mental health services that we provide. So it was uh, because of restrictions uh, to have meetings and gathering, we focused to change our group counseling into individual or plain plus approach. Mm -hmm. which gave us like the opportunity to use this model. And also we, it's teaching them skills, how to uh, become more of a problem solvers in their households and how to manage their, their stress. Mm -hmm. So it's just a skill that they can take for a long time and they can use it for a long time. Mm -hmm. So they can also teach it for their children. So it's just, uh, focusing on more empowering them to become problem solvers themselves mm -hmm. rather than just um, treating the, the symptoms that they are having, just yeah. helping them cope up. So, so it was a big, big lesson for us. Yeah, yeah. I mean, as, as an Ethiopian context, there are lots of efforts done in Ethiopia to host refugees. And when the pandemic hit or when COVID hit, so budget cuts were in different NGOs. Yeah. yeah. So all of their focus uh, became on preventing COVID. So I think the lack of budget or funding um, limited some of the activities that needed 
to be done in the refugee camps. Thank you for having me.